Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, and in this video, I decided to plug up a different webcam and record a hand cam for you guys. Now, I was actually able to drop a nuke. Now, recording a hand cam video, let alone dropping a nuke with a hand cam video, is very difficult to do, especially because I do not have an actual camera that I can place behind me and just record my hands. I actually have to go ahead and angle my webcam a certain way and also angle my hands a certain way that's incredibly uncomfortable and it gets excruciating after a couple hours of playing. So with all that being said, the like goal on this video has to be 600 likes. If we can get 600 likes in under 24 hours, that would be absolutely incredible. Also, yes, I do play with a pillow on my lap. Do not knock it till you guys try it. I'm telling you, this is so comfortable to play, minus hand cam, and I think you guys will definitely improve your gameplay after going ahead and trying this out. Let me know down in the comment section right now how you guys feel, you know, playing with a pillow on your lap. Now, I'm going to go ahead and showcase my settings at the end of the video. So, right now, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the new gameplay. Let's get right into it. Damn, dude, I just got... Half time. Well, we got a war machine, a harp. I mean, maybe something can happen. I don't know. But that, that streak is nuts. Seize the objective. Okay, we got a war machine. We got a harp. We got a field mic. Let's see if we can make something happen. Taking Charlie. They're 100%. Yep. See you guys coming this way. Nice. Nice. A lot of these guys should not have the spawn shield on them. They actually took. Okay. Some are going back to see. Oh my goodness. Alright, we stopped them from taking that. They're back at A. I hope. Oh, teammate got big with the harp. Can we please go take C flag? Like, is that is that is that is that a thing we're gonna be doing, teammates, or or or, or we're capping? My team's gonna be capping. Take some foam. Holy shit. Just take some home flag. It's going shredding. Let's go. Harp again. Guys should not have the shield here. Brutal. Taking 
Oh, kind of going in. Losing Going in. Let's go, baby. Got the nuclear. Woo! Clutch that up. And we got taken out. Oh my goodness. Clutch that up. Thank you, teammate. Damn, come on, team up behind you. Got 97 kills. 97 kills in the hand cam. All right, let's go over the controller settings that I was using in game. As you guys can see here, I do play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC, and I am running a 4-4 horizontal as well as vertical stick sensitivity. Now, I actually went ahead and bumped this down for this specific video because, like I said previously, whenever I'm recording a hand cam video, because I do not have an actual camera, I have to kind of angle my hands and the webcam in a very awkward position. So I bumped it down so I could be a little bit more accurate. Now, for my low and high zoom, I'm playing on a 0.7 to 0.7. Button layout is going to be on tactical. Everything else is going to be disabled. Uh, Amos response curve type is going to be on linear. My controller vibration is turned off. Obviously, aim assist is on. Target aim assist mode is going to be on standard. And everything else is pretty much going to be streamlined across the board as far as controller sensitivities go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the graphic setting because these actually do matter. I am playing on a 120 field of view with the affected ADS field of view. These are very, very important. If you guys are playing on a high FOV, make sure you guys play in affected. It's going to essentially remove all vertical and, well, I should say visual recoil here in black ops cold War, making guns a hell of a lot easier to control especially at longer ranges and that's kind of why my game looks the way it does whenever i'm trying to shoot people at longer ranges these are the settings i do use now i'm going to go over the class setup really quickly for you guys run the ak70 for you with the grew suppressor the 10.3 inch task force barrel the spetsnaz grip the VDV 50 round fast mag, and then finally the Gru Elastic Wrap. If you guys do enjoy this video and try out my settings or this class setup, end up dropping your highest KD gameplay, your most kills, or maybe even your first nuke, make sure you guys absolutely drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. If you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you are a loyal subscriber or you're really enjoying the content and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now, if you guys were unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and sometimes at 11 a.m. Central Time when there are updates, I am streaming Black Ops Cold War or Warzone live over on Twitch.tv. Now, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch and play Black Ops Cold War or Warzone with me, all you have to do is go to the search bar, type in EarsXBL, and my channel is going to be the first channel displayed. You guys can drop me a follow. Right now, we are closing in on 50,000 followers over on Twitch, which is absolutely incredible. So if you guys, like I said, want to play Black Ops Cold War with me or play Warzone, drop me a follow on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime and want to drop me a sub, that would also be greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys tweet me a picture if you guys are sub so I can drop you a follow over on Twitter. And like always, everybody, make sure you guys have a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.